Hi, I'm Mohan. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain the development of lateral surface of solids. Uh, this question is also choose from our VTU model question paper. Uh, the question is a cube of site 40 mm is resting on HP with its base such that one of the vertical face is inclined to 30 degree to VP. It is cut by a sectional plane perpendicular to VP. Uh, inclined to HP at angle of 30 degree and passing through the midpoint of the axis. Draw the development of the lateral surface of lower retained portion of Q. Okay, here the type of solid is a cube, uh, that is square prism. Uh, we know that uh, when we cut the square prism or cube and when we unfold it, we're going to see the rectangular faces. Uh, in order to construct the top view, we need the resting condition. Here the resting condition is one of the face is inclined to 30 degree to VP. Okay, now let us solve this problem. I'll go to solve it. Okay, insert one more sheet or uh, do the sheet setup. It should be A4. Okay, first I'll go to line command. I'll choose thickness uh, 0 0.13 mm. First draw one uh, XY line. Go to text option. Okay, name this line. This is capital X. Okay, this is capital Y. Okay, this is uh, VP. This is HP. Okay, now the top view looks like a square. First, I have to construct the square. Uh, I'm going to construct the square by using this rectangular option. Okay, the dimension is 40 mm. 40 mm. Okay. okay. The width is 40. Enter. The height is also 40. Enter. Okay, now the square is uh, constructed. Now, we can see the resting condition is one of the face is inclined to 30 degree to VP. Therefore, I'm going to draw one line which makes an angle of uh, 30 degree to VP. Go to angle between. Angle between this line and this line should be 30. Okay, select this line. Go to more option. Select this corner. Okay, I'm going to place it over here. Okay, now go to select option. Select this uh, square. Go to more option. Select one corner. Switch on the copy command. Place it over here. Next, go to rotate option. This is fixed. This is movable. You have to place one base on that inclined line. Okay, now we need the center point. Therefore, I'm going to draw the diagonals. Okay, from this corner to opposite corner. Okay, now I'm going to name this square. Okay, I'm going to name this as uh, A in bracket A1. Okay, I'm going to name this corner as B in bracket B1. Okay, this corner as C in bracket C1. This corner as D in bracket D1. Okay, now draw the projection line from each corner. B to the XY line. C to the XY line, D to the XY line. Okay, from this is O, O to the XY line. You can name here. This is O in bracket O1. Okay, the dimension of this square is 40 mm. Okay, now this is a cube. Uh, the front view of cube also looks like uh, a square. I'm going to construct one square of height 40. Okay, the height is 40 mm. Enter. This is B. Okay, this is O. I'm going to use axis line for this. Okay, from D. We're going to see one line. Okay, now I'm going to name this. Okay, this is uh, A dash. This is A1 dash. This is B dash. This is B1 dash. This is D dash. This point is D1 dash. This is C dash. 
this point is c1 dash okay this is o dash this point is o1 dash okay now i'm going to draw the development for this cube without considering uh, the cut section for cube it looks like a square only first i'm going to construct a square i'll go to line command okay the height is 40 mm again 40 okay first i'm going to construct one square now i'll go to select option select that face go to mirror option second face third and fourth okay now i'm going to name this okay this is a this is a1 this is b this is b1 this is c this is c1 this is d this is d1 this is again a this is a1 okay this is 40 mm this is also 40 mm okay this is uh, the development of a uh, cube uh, without considering uh, the cut section okay now we can observe that line it is cut by a sectional plane perpendicular to vp and inclined to hp at angle of 30 degree passing through the midpoint of axis first let me identify the midpoint okay i'm going to zoom this uh, area okay i'll go to line command thickness h v 0 0.13 first identify the midpoint from the midpoint we have to draw one line which makes an angle of 30 degree go to angle between angle between this line and axis line okay this should be 30. now i'm going to extend this line go to extend to next extend to next now this is the cut section now i'm going to highlight this by using uh, visible line or thick line go to line command now change the thickness to 0 0.50 mm a1 dash to this point to this intersection c1 dash d1 dash b1 dash again a1 dash again from b1 dash to this intersection point again from t1 dash to this intersection point okay now i'm going to name okay, between a and a1 okay, i'm going to name this point as 1 between b and b1 i'm going to name this point as 2 between c and c1 i'm going to name this point as 3 okay between d and d1 i'm going to name this point as 4 okay now Going to draw horizontal lines c from one okay one is there between a and a1 therefore i'm going to draw the horizontal line till a a1 okay now this intersection point is one okay this intersection point is one next two is there between b and b1 draw a horizontal line till b b1 can okay, name that point as two next three is there between c c1 Okay, name that point as uh, 3. Next, 4 is there between D, D1. Can okay, name that point as uh, 4. Now, I'm going to join all the points by using thick line. Okay, A1, 2. Okay, should get that intersection symbol. A1 to 1, 1 to 2, 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 1 again, 1 to A1, A1 to D1, D1 to C1, C1 to B1, B1 to A1. Again from B1 to, to 2, C1 to 3, and D1 to 4. Okay, this is the development of cut section of cube. Thank you.